We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for you. In this video, we are going to do a little bit of painting on this RPG Mini. Pretty sure it's from Reaper. And a lot of the steps are things that I've already done on camera for you before, but we're going to play around a little bit with metallics. And we're going to do kind of a bronzy armor that I wanted to show you. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave them down below in the comments. Now, since this is a metal miniature, it's got kind of a little bit of give to it, and it also doesn't catch the primer as easily as some of my plastics do. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna take a little bit of this Citadel Imperial Primer, and I'm just gonna paint it in the areas that didn't quite get hit when I gave it a spray, just cause I wanna make sure that the paint sticks to the mini as much as it can. So inside, this is a pretty thick consistency. It's a lot thicker than your regular paints. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna make sure that I smooth it out inside the bristles of my brush so that I'm not glopping it anywhere. And I just wanna get a really light coat on some of the bald areas, some places that have been nicked, and some places that didn't quite get hit with my spray primer. I find this a lot more effective to just paint it in the areas I need than to do a spray on primer with an airbrush or something like that just because for these little touch-ups, it's wasting a lot of paint, and this way I can really paint it on exactly where I need it. Once I've put the primer on and I've let it dry, I'm going to go ahead and I want to paint the armor this really nice bronzy color. So we're gonna start with the color Warplock Bronze. We're gonna mix it with a little bit of Lamian Medium, just a tiny bit to make sure that we've got a smooth flow to our paint. And this is gonna be an all-over layer on all of the armor. We really want to paint the whole breastplate, the pauldrons, the greaves, the bracers, any of the armored areas are going to be this bronzy color. Our next color is gonna be Brass Scorpion. This actually is a pretty saturated metallic color. It's got a lot of warm orangey pigments to it. So this is really going to start brighten up the color, giving it a lot more excitement. It's going to make it look a little bit more gold, a little bit more bronze. And we're going to be putting this over most of the armor that we just base coated with the Warplock bronze. We're also mixing it with Lamian medium to make sure that it doesn't go on too thick anywhere. I want to make sure that I keep a little bit of Warplock bronze on my palette. So if I feel like there's anywhere where this brass scorpion color is too bright, I can take a little bit of that darker color, mix it into my paint and kind of blend the transition a little bit. But really I'm just leaving that Warplock bronze color in the deepest shadows and kind of as a line between the transition of all of the different plates of this armor. And then if there's anywhere where I feel like the color's a little bit patchy, I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat just to make sure that I get a really nice smooth layer. Our next color is gonna be Rune Lord Brass. And I apologize for not catching the pot on camera, but that is the color I'm painting with right now. And I'm going to be painting this over about 50% to 70% of the armor plates. This color is a little bit more silvery, a little bit less orange. I'm mainly concentrating this on the edge of each of these plates to give it a little bit of an outline and all of the areas where the sun would be hitting if it were shining directly above the mini. When you're painting with true metallic paints, they already have a lot of shine in them. They already have glimmer, but you still wanna make sure that you are highlighting and shading to exaggerate that even more. For these smaller plates, it's really easy to kind of pick out the edges and where you want this lighter color to go. And then for the large area like this back chest piece or the skirt, that's an area where you can really play around with blending and making sure that you get a really smooth transition between all of the colors. After that Rune Lord Brass color, our next color is gonna be Psychorax Bronze. And this is going to continue to pump up the brightness, continue to add more shine. So we're adding it in all of the areas where the sun would be hitting just like we did with our previous layer. We're just kind of concentrating it more, making it even brighter. I'm switching to a smaller brush, but you can see even though I'm using a fine tip, 
for my brush. I'm painting with kind of the side just so I get a little bit more surface area and that gives me more room to blend without having really tiny brush strokes in the paint. And I'm just using the tip of the brush in areas where I want a very thin line. Now that I have most of my metallic colors down, I'm going to shade them a little bit and play around with a little bit more color. So the first shade I want to use is going to be Raikland Flesh Shade. Now I'm painting this the consistency it is right out of the pot. And I'm just using a little bit of it. I don't want it to go on too thick anywhere. I don't want it to gloop or to dry in a puddle. I'm just going to do a thin shadow in a few areas. Mainly I'm going to be outlining all of the armor plates to make sure that the different elements really stand out from each other. And I also want to paint this on the back plate in that area where it transitions into the belt and is in a, a little bit more shadow. I want to make that sure that shadow has a lot of different tones in it and is dynamic because it's the largest metal area. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of Carolbird Crimson and I'm only going to put this in a few areas. I'm going to put this right next to the belt on this back plate area and kind of blend it into the Raikland Flesh Shade that I already applied. And then I'm going to pick out a few of the darkest shadows and add a little bit of this crimson color into them just to make them a little bit more dark and to tint the shadow a little bit so it's got a really warm cast to it. It's gonna make all the metal seem really rosy. The last step is to do a final line highlight on all of the armor plates. I'm going to do that with the color Runefang Steel because this is a little bit more of a bronzy toned metallic versus a gold. This is going to complement the edges more than if I had done something like Auric Armor Gold. And I'm just doing a very thin line tracing all of the armor plates. And with that final highlight, the bronze armor is complete. It's an interesting warm metallic that's a little bit different than your traditional gold. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I'm going to paint the blade of this glaive in the mini Wargaming vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, you can go ahead and click the link, sign up for a seven day free trial, and get access to my tutorial as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini Wargaming vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy Wargaming.